<laughs> That's a Norwegian pattern, and it's called a lice pattern because it looks like lice bugs. I'm gonna pull the cables up, feed them through, and it's gonna rest on that ledge. Some people sent us acrylic, which is fine, um, but we wanted, really wanted wool because it's more waterproof. We need 20 of them because we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so this is the first panel of 32. I don't know what they're drilling holes for, but I trust them. It started, I guess, about a year and a half ago when I applied for a grant. It was to knit bomb the facade of Design on Main, but it's essentially like fabric graffiti. It's a temporary sort of um, public art installation, and it's you cover industrial structure, structures, urban structures, even trees with knitted or crocheted garments, essentially. So I tell people it's almost like you're covering the building with a giant blanket. We've had people from 14 different states submit squares for this project. Over a thousand squares. It's like little sheep. It's pretty awesome. Is this one of yours? I mean, I feel like every every few ones she's done because she's she's done <laughs> 200, and so you've literally done like 20% of this project. Did you know that? <laughs> Carol was amazing. She would win the MVP trophy of the project if I made one. She also created these two small yarn bomb children's bikes that are gonna be displayed in the gallery in the front window. It goes down, and the first thing it passes through is gonna be these brackets here. It's gonna sit on this overhang that's right below us, like this. That will then get threaded through, the wire will get threaded through uh, that hole there. Um, and the reason for the wire is so we do not have to screw anything into the building other than right here up at the top. A lot of people ask me, a community art specialist, when they think of public art, they think of big sculptures, which is wonderful. But I wanted to provide an opportunity for people who don't self-identify as artists to be able to make together um, and collaborate on something that would be benefiting more than just themselves as individuals. So these blankets after the end of the month will be taken down and turned into smaller blankets and dry cleaned and donated to local shelters. So this was sort of a project created by Iowans to benefit Iowans. And it's a way um, through Iowa State Extension Outreach to engage the community and help them uh, help people benefit more than just themselves. Thank you.